Shalom, 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 child of the Most High God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What a day in the presence of Jehovah God. My name is Onyango Eric. I'm super delighted to share the word of God with you. Today I'd like to talk about a topic that no one wants to be associated with. No one wants that name. I want to talk about hypocrisy. Hypocrisy bites. No one wants to own that name. I am an hypocrite. No one, everyone wants to appear perfect. Everyone wants to appear righteous. No one wants to associate by the name hypo, hypocrite or hypocrisy. Hypocrisy now is the verb, is the action. Uh, and we, we shall be getting our reading from the book of Luke chapter 12 from verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, a thousand of people crowded together. So they were stepping on each other. Jesus said first to his disciples, be on guard against the east of the, hypo, uh, of the Pharisees. I mean the hypocrisy. Whoever is covered up will be uncovered. And every secret will be made known. So then, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the broad daylight. And whatever you have whispered in the private, in a private room, will be shouted from the housetop. These are words spoken by Jesus. He was saying that, he was telling the disciples to be on guard against the Pharisees, the hypocrites. And many a time, we are not careful, we are just, we don't embrace the spirit of discernment. We are not on guard against the hypocrites. We are not watchful. These individuals, Jesus told the disciples, be mindful. Know these people. Be on guard against the east of the Pharisees. I mean their hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. What is hypocrisy? Hypocrisy is defined as making a pretense of value. Hypocrisy is making a pretense of value. You are making a pretense of value. You are either devaluing or, or overvaluing. You are either using deception or you are using pretense. You are using some tricks. That is the hypocrisy. You are using pretense, false pretense. It's the hypocrisy. You are not the real you. You have either devalued yourself or you have overvalued yourself. Hypocrisy is an act of individualism. Someone who loves himself more than anything. Someone who is ready to take advantage of people. Someone who is not looking at what I can say are the mutual benefits. They don't want others to gain. They want to gain only by themselves. Those are the hypocrites. And Jesus told the disciples, be on guard against the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. Hypocrites or hypocrisy is aimed at personal gratification and personal gain. Someone who is hypocrite is someone who wants to receive the glory. He wants praise. Hypocrite. They go very difficult situation just to get gratification. It is a self-denial demeanor or endeavor. No one wants to be called hypocrite. It's like money. No one wants to be associated with money. No one wants to say, I'm the richest. Even when you meet the richest man, he will say, I'm not the richest. I just have uh, money enough to take care of myself. They will never say we have money. No one can say I have money. Even when you meet your friends, you ask them, how are you? They will start telling you they don't have money. The same with the hypocrites. Hypocrites will never say, I am an hypocrite. I am an hypocrite. It's a self-denial. No one wants to associate it with that. It's a falsehood on the first value. It's a falsehood on the first value. Hypocrite will either want to appear flamboyant or 
will want to appear like a beggar. They either want to appear like a flamboyant, flamboyancy or a pupa or a beggar. Hypocrite. They always want to look different. They either devalue themselves or they overvalue themselves. The text that you have read, there are three aspects that go with hypocrites. Hypocrites, we are being told, whatever is covered up will be uncovered. So hypocrites thrive on things that are covered. They are concealing something. They are hiding something. Hypocrites love to cover something. Either they are covering their behavior by trying to be too good. They try to be more charitable. They are trying to be more philanthropic. Hypocrites. They are covering something. So that we will never say, if it is a preacher who is a hypocrite, he will try to be too nice to you. That you cannot say it's a wife batterer. You can never say this preacher is involved or is a drunkard or humanizer. You will say they are these people wana muonea. These people are just accusing him falsely because he has covered his dirty behavior. Hypocrites love covering. That's why the Bible tells us, I mean the hypocrites. Whatever is covered up will be uncovered. So their behavior, their rotten behavior is covered by their good deeds. And every secret will be known. They love operating in secrets. Either they have secret affairs, they have secret uh, relationships, they have secret bank account, they have secret houses, they have secret things. They do a lot of secrets. Hypocrites love secrecy. The third aspect, so then whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in broad daylight. So they love the dark. They love the dark. They love the dark. They operate in the dark. Whatever they do is in the dark. That is an hypocrite. That is what they love. Hypocrites love darkness. And Jesus provided this thing. The entire Matthew chapter 23, Jesus focused on hypocrites. The entire chapter is dedicated to the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. So as the church, it's important. Hypocrisy is making the church not to get the mojo, not to get the power. Hypocrisy is making the church not to grow rapidly. The early church was growing. 5,000 per day, 3,000 per day. But now, because members live among people, and some of them are hypocritical. So people are saying, if this man will go to heaven, I shall go before him. Because he is a hypocrite. Hypocrite, hypocrisy is the challenge of the church. Jesus focused on it, and the church is not focusing on it. The church, when someone is hypocritical, they say, don't judge, don't judge. We are forgetting Apostle Paul said, we need to rebuke so that others learn. We need to rebuke hypocrisy, but the church can never, because they don't want to judge. Hypocrisy is a very serious disease in our society. Someone says, I don't want to go there, because I know what they are doing. Hypocrisy. At night, a preacher is found in the house of a young girl hypocrisy and people are knowing them sometimes preachers they go to drink they are being served by people who know them so at the end of the day someone is telling the neighbor yesterday you know what i served a preacher from this church i see him in television i hear him being interviewed hypocrisy so you want to there's a friend of mine who stopped going to church because he was drinking with preachers he was telling me there's joints, there are places that they drink with bishops. Hypocrisy. 
So it is a very serious thing that the church should focus on. Hypocrisy. Jesus dedicated the entire chapter for this topic. Let me now say how it bites. How hypocrisy bites. Number one, hypocrisy drain your loved ones, your friends, your wife, your husband, your, your children. When you are a hypocrite, your children suffer the more. Your friends suffer the more. Your spouse suffer the more. Because there are people, they are earning, but they are not earning because of their hypocritical life. So they are lacking your children, your family members lack something good because you are living a hypocritical life. There are people even, they are suffering. They want to appear they have money. They want to appear they have job. Every day they wear a suit, they go to town. So no one can even tell them opportunity because they are hypocritical. There are people, they work with politicians. Day in, day out. They cannot tell politicians, we don't have a job. They just want to appear like them. Hypocritical life. There are people who are suffering. Yet they have money. Hypocritical life. There is a man. He was my neighbor. He was not my neighbor. He was just a good friend of mine. The man was living in a very funny place. And I asked him, sir, I can see you have money. You have a new motorcycle that is not used for public transportation. It is just for your own leisure. Why is it? Why are you making your family to suffer in this place? He told me, if I want, I can go to one bedroom. So the man, everything was stuffed in that single room. One day the child, I don't know what was happening, and the child was burned. And the man that night, he went to one bedroom. And even he bought a car that month. The man was hypocritical. He was making the family to suffer. Yet he had money. Hypocritical. These are what is written in the Bible. People are conned because they don't want to read the Bible. Everything is intact in the Bible. Everything in our lives. You know, hypocrites are parasites. Hypocrites are parasites. They just want to get from you and you will never get from them. Hypocrites. They want you to call them but they will never call you. They want you to visit them. They can never visit you. They want you to support them. They will never support you because they are parasites. Parasites are animals that feed on other animals. Hypocrites are parasites. Every time they, they want to appear, they don't have you are the one to buy for them lunch, January to December. Because they are hypocrites. They want to appear poor. Yet they have, they have a lot. In workplaces, there are so many parasites. They behave like they don't have. Yet you'll be shocked. This man has a mega project. Because he was deceiving you. Making a false pretense. Of value of himself. Let us read the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 13 verse 7. Proverbs 13 verse 7, the hypocrites. There are so many in our midst. Chapter 13 verse 7, right. The Bible says, some people pretend to be rich, hypocrite now. Some people pretend to be rich but have nothing. Others pretend to be poor, but own a fortune. The hypocrites, they, they pretend, they're using false pretense that they have money. And this is the major cause of depression among our celebrities. They want to pretend that they have money. They want to pretend that they have it all. They want to pretend that they are making money, yet they are wasting time. but have nothing. Others pretend to be poor, but own fortune. These are the people who surround us. They may, every day someone may be telling you, oh, I don't have a salt. 
give me this, but it's making an empire because it's using hypocrisy. Some people behave like they are poor, yet they have fortune. Pretenders. We are being told pretenders are worse than unbelievers. Hypocrites, they don't interpret the scripture. And it's very wrong. Very, very wrong. Pretenders are people who are sent by God to deliver the word, but they don't want. They want to use their own method. They want to use their own approach. They want to use their own ideas just to get money from you, just to take advantage of you. You know, it is God's mandate for the church to interpret the scripture to believers. But hypocrite has no time of interpreting the scripture. He, he rather introduce, he rather introduce wrong doctrine that will make you, will manipulate you, will frighten you, and make you give money. Someone will use words like, if you leave my church, you will die. There is a documentary ongoing, has gone viral, trending now, about the late T.B. Joshua, what he was doing in his church. It was not about the scripture. Whatever he was doing was not scriptural. So when you are not in the scripture, you are becoming a hypocrite because you are sent not to make your own disciples. We were making disciples for Jesus. Let us read Matthew 28. We are making disciples for Jesus, not disciples of ourselves. Let us read this. Hypocrites make, they are going against the, the laws of God. Hypocrites go against the teachings and the doctrine of God. Hypocrite. Any preacher who is making you his disciple is an hypocrite. And I'm showing you from the scripture. Anyone who is making you a disciple, you are not a disciple of anyone. You are not a disciple of any religion. You should be disciple of Jesus himself. If you are a disciple of any man, know that you are in a cult. You are in a very dangerous cult, like a shakahola. When you are a disciple of a man, there are people who are disciple of T.B. Joshua. They are now crying. They are now uh, crying, weeping bitterly. Because they decided to be disciple of a man. You are not supposed to be a disciple of a man. Let us read the scripture. Matthew 28 verse 18. Jesus drew, drew near and said to them, I have given you all authority in heaven and on earth. Go then to people, to all people on earth. And go then to all people everywhere and make them my disciple. So our role as the church is to make People, the disciples of Jesus, not our own disciple. Do you have your heaven to take them? Our role is to connect them, to be the disciples of Jesus and him alone. I'm a disciple of so and so. That one now, if you are a disciple, that is a cult. No longer a church. Because Jesus, you follow the orders of Jesus. And he gave us, these were the last words of Jesus. Very important words. When he told us to make disciples for him, not us. Someone sleep with you. Someone make you do abortion. A preacher make you do abortion. And you are still there. Because you are his disciple. He tells you that I'm the one to connect you to God. Yet Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. When you get Jesus, you get it all. But you have decided to be someone's disciples. I was saying this. The church role is to interpret the scripture. So I have to interpret the scripture in a way that I'll not be ashamed. 
I must divide the word of truth correctly. The book of Nehemiah chapter 8. The book of chapter Nehemiah chapter 7, 8 verse 7 and 8. The Bible says, Then they rose and stood in their places, and the following Levites explained the law to them. Joshua, Banai, Edia, Messiah, Kelita, Azariah, Josabad, Anan, Pelaiah. They gave an oral translation of God's law and explained it is so that the people could understand it. Our role is to explain to people the scripture. What you are telling people over 70% of the modern church, we are not translating the scripture. We are introducing new laws. We are introducing new occult. We are introducing new practices. Our role, this was the law of the Levites, the men of God, were to interpret the scripture. That's why I'm inviting you to our theology school so that we may help you how to interpret the scripture. You have to interpret the scripture, but people are not ready to interpret the scripture because it is daunting, because they don't have the Holy Spirit, because they are manipulative. That's why they don't want to interpret the scripture, and they end up being hypocrites, going against the laws of God, going against the teachings of God. Uh, let me tell you one thing. Matthew chapter 23, verse 15. Matthew 23, verse 15. The Bible says, How terrible for you teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You sell the seas and cross over the country to win con one convert, and when you succeed, you make him twice as deserving of going to hell as you yourself. So if someone, a lady, I was watching that documentary of T.B. Joshua. How many ladies have broke their virginity? This lady came pure, but you are making them impure because you are a hypocrite. And there are so many preachers who are doing that. There are so many preachers who are, who are sodomizing. Even here in Kurukwa Jenga, there is an old man who sodomizes a boy. These are what? Act of hypocrite. They are making people to backslide. They are making people to hate God. They are making people to be more worse. Because when you do that sodomy, this, this boy, if he's not counseled, he will end up even sodomizing others. So you are making them to be more wicked. If you are doing that in the church, someone now become worse. Because you are crossing the cities. You have converted them and brought them to the fold of Jesus. But now, you are introducing wickedness. You are introducing bad practice and make them hate God. Because there are so many people who, are, who underwent the, uh, that ordeal in that church of T.B. Joshua. They will not again go to any church. Because they are saying, if this is happening in our church, why should I go to a church? You are making people to backslide. Let me tell you, people are looking for authenticity. People are looking for the someone who is real. But when you are a hypocrite, no one will want to associate with you. Hypocrites, hypocrisy has an expiry date. I repeat, hypocrisy has an expiry date. If you choose to be an hypocrite, know that you will be caught. That's why the Bible says whatever you do, in secret will be revealed, will be uncovered whatever you cover, whatever you do in secret, whether you do it in Airbnb. One day, they say the day of the thief is 40. You'll be caught because hypocrisy has an expiry date. Even if, even like T.B. Joshua, it has been exposed after his death. Look at the, the, the bishop, angel of, of Zimbabwe, a man in money laundering. He was exposed because uh, hypocrisy has an expiry date. You can do it now. 
You can do it in Airbnb. You can do it overseas. But you will be discovered. As I told you in the book of Luke, chapter 12, whatever you do in secret will be revealed. Whatever you are doing in darkness will be revealed. All the illicit affairs you have will be revealed. Because God, Jesus, is the one who said, He shall reveal them. Oh, I will make it till I, I will fake it till I make it. You can, it will backfire. There is no one who has ever fake it and make it. It will always backfire. People want organic things. People want things systematic. People want original things. You are faking relationship, you will be caught. You are faking love, you will be caught. You are faking relationship, you must be caught. Because people are looking for authenticity. Even some musician, they are faking. I'm a good musician, I can sing. And you don't work to work on your vocals. You are going to the studio, they work on voices, and now you appear good. When you go to live, people are saying, this one is fake. You want the original musician because you are faking it. You better sing with your own voice and work on your vocals. And at the end of the day, you will be perfect because practice makes perfect. People are stealing. Even some other people's uh, artistic work. Because they want to, to win awards. But they will be caught. I've seen so many people who have been given awards. 12, 40, under 40 men. Some of them, we have found they were quacks. They are scammers. Why? Because people, what did they do? They fake it. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a leader somewhere. There's also a, another Asian who won so many accolades, but he was discovered because he was faking it. He was faking it and he went near, M-I-A, missing in action because people are looking for authenticity. When you are fake, it will backfire. When you are a hypocrite, know that it has expiry date. Ha. Hypocrisy kills. Hypocrisy kills. It kills. Huh. It kills so bad. I know. You remember there is a boy. Last year. There is a boy who was supposed to wed. A preacher in fact. A young preacher. From the church of deliverance. Here in the city. So the boy committed suicide in the morning. Of his wedding. What happened? The fiancé discovered the man is a gay. And the man could not swallow the shame. So he took the root of suicide. Because hypocrisy uh, kills. The man was a, a hypocrite. The man was homosexual. Yet he wanted to live a straight life. And there are so many homosexuals. There are so many bisexuals. There are so many lesbians. But they are living uh, like straight people. Hypocrisy. And they will be discovered. And it will destroy their homes. I know of a story of a woman. This woman, she, she dresses well. She speaks well. But one day the husband came from work. And she found the wife in the act with another woman. And the man chased the woman from her home. Now that woman is really suffering. Because... That day she was caught. Hypocrisy, you must be caught. She is now suffering. Yet the man is enjoying life. Because hypocrisy can never make you happy. It kills. It kills her relationship. And even there are people who are known. There are so many suicides that you see around. It's because someone has an act. Someone has revealed their deep secret so someone commit suicide rather than killing yourself why don't you live a holy and righteous life why don't you make a choice not to be hypocrite it is possible it is possible not to be hypocrite the life of hypocrisy appears sweet but it is just chasing after wind 
Their life of hypocrisy is like guarana. You know, when you give ladies guarana, it is so sweet, but it makes them to be more loose. It makes them more easy to be undressed. Guarana and hypocrisy, they go hand in hand. This thing is a dangerous thing. Hypocrisy is the enemy of society. Hypocrisy is the enemy of society. We have leaders, they behave like they, they love us too much. But at the end, they steal a lot from us. Life are more miserable because they are after their own gain. They are driven by their own passion because they are hypocrite. Africa is getting more and more poorer. The gap between the rich and the poor is getting more wide, is getting wider because we are led by hypocrites. They are telling you we are going to ensure that your life is better, but they are making it worse. They are telling you we are delivering heaven, but they are delivering hell. Hypocrisy. What you are seeing around is totally hypocrisy. Everyone is organizing tournament. It's not the love of soccer. Some of them, they have had teams in their own counties that they cannot honor matches because of logistical challenges. Even some as little as 30,000. But these leaders who are there, no one has even said, let me support this team. Let me buy for them this. Let me pay for their transportation. But now they want to tell us how they love total hypocrisy. Total hypocrisy. Total hypocrisy. Tournaments are round. That is a way of improving soccer. That is how the one of Maisa, Bob Manro did. But what is happening around is total hypocrisy. Just to win the youth. They are now done with the church. They get what they, they got what they wanted from the church. Now they are after youth. They manipulated the church. They got what they wanted. Now they are against the church. They are now to the youth through sports. Total hypocrisy. Total hypocrisy. Hypocrisy will make you very sad with life. Very sad with life. Because living a hypocritical life is expensive. You want to please someone, you have to if you have won a lady through pretense, you have told us, I, I, I told her, I work in this company, yet you are working, you don't even have a job. She, she comes and she allows you to have the relationship. And at the end of the day, you cry. You cry bitterly. Because it lowers your status. Sometimes back, I was somewhere, and there were ladies who were really worshipping. Now, one of my friends told me, you know these ladies, they are all insane in dating sites. And I asked myself, these ladies, how they are singing? Yes. She told me, I'm going to show you after this service. And I saw those ladies with their photos, with their bikinis, in those dating sites. And from the, then, their standard was lowered. That respect diminishes. Because hypocrisy uh, lowers the status. I saw them, and even their number, because I had their numbers, and I could confirm, yes, they are. Because they are singing in church and they are in social dating sites. With their bikinis. Because they are living a hypocritical life. When people discover you are a hypocrite, they start that esteem diminishes. That respect is destroyed. There is no, no longer respect. Because of what? Having a hypocritical life. And even our celebrities, some people don't take them serious because they fake life. When they need Someone thinks that they are trending. Someone thinks that this person cannot lack. There is a celebrity 
whose brother died this week, last week. Now, he was telling people, because people know their living room, his living room, his life, how they have been living life with a big spoon. Now he was telling people, I need just 100,000 from top to bottom. People are saying, oh, this is joke, what, because of the lifestyle. People now start telling him, oh, you neglected your brother, what and what. It was just rubbish. Because of what? Hypocrisy. You are now trying to show people that you love your brother and you abandoned him. Life of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy brings shame. Hypocrisy brings shame. Let us look at this life of David. David saw the wife of Uriah and he admired her. He said, bring me that woman. And he slept with her and organized secretly. What the Bible says, whatever you do in secret will be uncovered. He organized, he choreographed Uriah to be killed so that you will not detect who, is, who has fathered the child. And God sent his prophet Nathan to go and tell David, because you have killed a man, also in your home, there will be death. David felt shame because God uncovered. God uncovered hypocrisy. David says that man, because he came like with a story, a parable. And David said the man who took, who did that should be killed. When he was told it is you, he now succumbed to shame. Because hypocrisy ends up in shame. People will start asking, what is happening to you? It brings shame. Someone like Tiger Woods, when he was involved in multiple sex scandals, it was a shame to him. He had even to get out of the sport that he loved for a period of time because of shame. There are people who never recover because of shame. People like Marion Jones, hypocrisy. You are winning through pretense. You are not winning through hard work. Kenya, we are talking about uh, doping. Because there are people who are hypocrites. They don't want to go to do exercise. They don't want to work hard. They want to use those uh, forbidden substances. Hypocrisy. Bring shame. Because the goal will be taken. The medals will be taken. And now you will be covered with shame. Hypocrisy kill conscious. And I usually say conscious is a man. When your conscious is dead, it's like you are dead. When you can abuse someone and you feel nothing. When you can beat someone and you feel nothing. Know that you are dead. When you can do fornication and you feel nothing. When you can go and to TikTok and speak uh, ferocious, very venom, very dangerous stuff, immoral things, and you are okay with it, and you post it, know that your conscious is dead. And when your conscious is dead, it's just a pity. Conscious is dead. There is, I think it's First Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. The Bible talks about death of conscious. Yes, 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. The Spirit says clearly that some people will abandon their faith in the latter times. They will obey lying spirits and follow the teachings of demons. Such teachings are spread by deceitful liars whose conscious are dead. So you are conscious when it's dead, you don't care. You don't care what you are telling people. You don't care the action or your action. What T.B. Joshua was doing. We saw T.D. Jacks in, in gay, gay parties, dancing to secular song, a bishop, because conscious when it's dead, you don't care what you are doing. You don't care the cult you are bringing. You don't care your doctrine, because your conscious is dead. Huh. Hypocrisy destroy career. Hypocrisy destroy reputation. Look at Robert Kelly. 
Where is he now? It's because he was hypocrite. He's thinking about love, yet he's there raping women. Look at Bill Cosby, a man that finished so bad because of hypocrisy. T.D. Jacks, there are people who are saying, and I heard it over the weekend, some women are saying what T.D. Jacks did, they can never step in a church. And I know even in his church, it's not the same again. The perception, people are not viewing him as that oracle from God because of the same. In America now, I know his status is now down. People cannot go for spiritual nourishment from him because reputation is destroyed. Some people refer to him as the disgraced. There are people who are called disgraced because of hypocrisy. They led a life that is contrary to, the, to their status and the expectation of the society. Hypocrisy is a gateway to sin because when you look at some believers, before they backslide, they saw this action in the closet. The, if they want to be drunkard, they start it slowly in the closet until it becomes habitual. They are hypocrite. I saw a man, a church elder, a respected man, not a church elder, a respected man, smoking bang somewhere in a closet, somewhere hidden because of hypocrisy. And give him time. He'll be, smoke, he'll be smoking in the open. Habitual. It becomes habitual. When you are doing it, it becomes habitual. You can be doing it in secret. You can be drinking. You are buying them from the supermarket and taking them from home. At the end of the day, it will become habitual. And after being habitual, it becomes your character. You become a drunkard because hypocrisy outgrow. Hypocrisy matures. Hypocrisy become someone bigger than you can contain. Hypocrisy. You start testing someone's wife, it becomes habitual. Now you feel like I just have to sleep with people's wives because it has become habit. Hypocrisy. You started in the closet. You started it very far. You end up being caught in the house. You are being stoned. You are being beaten. You have been caught in the act because hypocrisy has become habitual. Hypocrisy becomes habitual. Hypocrisy becomes habitual. We have seen even some preachers. When you see them, some men, I've seen some videos of some men with kilemba, turbine, the mocorinos in pubs, and they're not one. We have seen sisters. We have seen fathers. We have seen preachers. Because hypocrisy outgrows you. It will end up in a level you cannot control. You will start doing it in the open. It's like smoking. When people start smoking, they start in the hiding. But the end, by the age, at the long run, they end up smoking before people. Because hypocrisy outgrow them. You just hear there's a smell of cigarette, but you are not seeing it. But give him time. He will not contain it. Because hypocrisy outgrow us. Hypocrisy outgrow us. Hypocrisy outgrow us. Even when you see people who are entering in Sabina Joy, they began entering secretly. But now they have got that courage because hypocrisy in them has outgrown. Now they are entering. Hypocrisy outgrow and make you sin. It's that small. That's why the Bible says, Resist the devil and you will flee away from you. Resist hypocrisy. Don't allow hypocrisy. You are a young man. Don't go to women's houses. What are you going? Oh, I'm going to the sisters. I'm going to visit sister so and so. The Bible says you cannot.
sit on the coal and not burn. You are putting yourself in temptation and will end up sinning. You have to live a life that is pleasant before God. Avoid hypocrisy. Avoid hypocrisy. It is the gateway to sin. Avoid. 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 That is the advice I can tell you. Young girl, avoid. They say that the law of attraction, when you spend with someone for a period of time, you get attracted to them. So young girl, avoid the old men. You will be attracted to them. You start, oh, I'm just greeting. At the end of the day, you will end up in relationship. Because of what? Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is so dangerous. There is a preacher in this city who was buried like he was a preacher that had a name, but he was exposed. He was exposed. Like the one being exposed by CNN. Like Angel, Angel I don't know who, from Zimbabwe, who was exposed by Al Jazeera. I had a topic last year where I told you that God is exposing workers of iniquity. If you have decided to be hypocrite, you will be exposed. Many are being exposed and others will be exposed. So avoid hypocrisy for you not to be exposed. Because the Bible says whatever you do in secret will be revealed. Even whatever you speak in secret, you think that they say that the walls have ears. So don't be hypocrite. If you love someone, love him genuinely. If you don't want, don't force. There are so many hypocrisy in marriages. You don't love someone, but because of you want to take advantage of him so that you build your career, you cheat, you rather suffer, and you don't love. That's why there is a lot of deaths, homicide in marriages because of hypocrisy. Is combination of people who hate each other with passion. People, marriages is about interest. It's no longer about love, hypocrisy. And at the end of the time, you discover that I found myself in a hole. I cannot get out. So the, you try all means, even to kill someone to get freedom. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. A dangerous thing. Finally, hypocrisy will lead to spiritual death. Spiritual death is separation from God. When you are a hypocrite, you are separated from God. You are separated from God. When we read the book, the book of Revelation, chapter 3 from verse 14 and 16. The Bible said, To the angel of the church of Laodicea write, This is the message from the Amen. Amen. The faithful and the true witness, who is the origin. All, of all that God has created, I know what you have done. I know that you are neither called nor ought. I wish you are either one or, or the other. But because you are lukewarm, neither nor called, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. Verse 17 is just a bonus. You say I'm rich and well off. I have all I need. But you know that you are miserable and pitiful. You are? You are poor, naked, blind. You see? Hypocrite. John is writing to this church of Laodicea. He was told by the angel to write to them. And he's saying, this church of Laodicea is a church of hypocrites. We have churches of hypocrites where people are drunkards in the church, where people are humanizers in the church, where people are in different occult, people are practicing occult, people are visiting witchcraft in the church, people are doing all manner of wickedness in the church. People are, people are slanderers in the church. 
People gossip in the church. People are envious in the church. People are doing, uh, even Catholic, they say that now the priest should allow blessing of sex, same, same sex because they are permitting it in the church. We are being told the church of Laodicea. They are neither hot or cold. They are lukewarm. We have a lukewarm believer. They can go to clubs and tomorrow they come to church and they say, Buana, if you praise the Lord. They can go to anywhere. They can go to, to, low, to Airbnb. They can sleep with their, their, their co-workers. They are saying it's called a uh, bromance. Whereby you are they are, they are organizing, uh, they are calling it uh, what there's a session. They are organizing it bonding session. We are going for team building bond, but the intention is just to sleep with their colleagues. And they are men and women of God because we are lukewarm. We are hypocrites. You admire your, 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 your brother's wife. You admire your friend's wife. You admire your colleague's wife. Hypocrites. The church of Laodicea is the re replica of our modern church. Modern church. Made of hypocrites. And the danger, God will spit us out. Why do you want God to spit you out? And think that you can avoid the Bible says, if it is your eyes that is causing you to sin, plucking out, pluck it out. If it is your hand, chop it off. Why do you want to miss heaven? Because of hypocrisy. Yet God is giving us a way of living a righteous life. Make a choice today. Because whatever you are doing in the closet, whatever you are doing in the secret, when you are homosexual and you are in marriage, when you are living, you are lying that you are a very straightforward person, yet you are a very corrupt person. No God will reveal. God will unearth. God will uncover whatever you are doing. All the illicit affairs you have, God shall reveal. And God shall reveal, and whatever I've told you will bite you. Shame will come upon your life. You will destroy your reputation. You will lower your status. You will do what? You will end up in sinning and you will have spiritual death, separation from God. And you can have even real death because this is the major cause of suicide. When people discover you are really you and you have been lying, the option will be just to kill yourself than to face the shame. Let us believe and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we have refused the spirit of hypocrisy. We want to live, oh Lord, a life that is worthy of our calling because your word says that we are surrounded by the clouds of witnesses, oh God. We want to look upon your Jehovah. May you order our steps to live a life, oh God, that is dictated by you. Help us to live according to your word according to your will, O Jehovah, and to serve your purpose, O God. We love you and we exalt your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Thank you, thank you very much for your valuable time. I believe you have learned something. For you to watch this video and other videos, kindly proceed to YouTube. Address remain Eric Sublime, E-R-I-C-K, Eric Sublime. And I would like to request you to comment, to tell me something. You will really motivate me and you will cheer me up. And God will bless you. If you are saying this year, I want to be a partner in this ministry, you are highly welcomed. You are highly welcomed. Things of God, yes, are pro bono. Pro bono. We are preaching pro bono. We are advising pro bono. We are counseling pro bono. We are, all the function, all the things we are doing are pro bono. But you can say, let me be a blessing to this ministry. I'm not charging anything. I'm just telling you what we are doing is purely pro bono. Because Jesus told us, 
to preach pro bono, to heal pro bono, to prophesy pro bono, everything pro bono. So, if you are touched and you are saying, let me be a blessing to this ministry, I give you this opportunity, kindly proceed, uh, send your giving to 0725102528, M-Pesa 0725102528. Five twenty-eight, and God will bless you abundantly. If you like to join our college, Intech is ongoing. Mount Mora Theological College, a registered college. We are offering diploma and certificate. Nine thousand for nine months for diploma, and six thousand for six months for your certificate. Don't be left out. Uh, days are really going fast. And I would love to be of blessing to you. Write to me, Mount Center at gmail.com, and I shall forward for you application requirements, and God will bless you. We are situated at Mukuru Kwareli Market at Jasa Dudonom Railway Station. Kindly proceed to room number 245, room number 245, and God will bless you abundantly, abundantly, abundantly. My name is Sonyango Eric. It will be great pleasure to have you, to have your company, to hear from you, to see what you are saying, and also to see your giving. will really rejuvenate my spirit and will encourage me. God bless you. I love you, the love of Christ. My name is Sonyango Eric. See you in the next, uh, in the next issue. Be blessed, be lifted, be guided, and above all, be a truthful person. Be a truthful person. Say no to hypocrisy. This year is a year of truthfulness. Not hypocrisy. We have seen over all demolition in, in the city, in the nation, there are politicians involved. Some even senior politicians who have gone and use enter in agreement with the landowners to vacate people and demolish their properties it's well known in this nation that is the face of a politician in every demolition and every eviction in this country because hypocrisy refuse to be hypocrite when you hate someone hate him when you love someone love him and God will bless you. Lukewarm is not our portion in 2024. We are in truthful nation. You have to be truthful. Be the chain that you want to see. Don't want truthfulness and you are a hypocrite. If you want hypocrisy, choose hypocrisy. If you want to be truthful, be a truthful person. And God will bless you. See you in the next teaching. May God bless you. I love you so much. Bye-bye.